Chuckled 610 it says be careful what you post online. Probably because mm -hmm. I don't post so much. I get it. All right, so is a message worth repeating, especially after several would-be Harvard students recently had their acceptance letters revoked over social media posts? I'll take it a step further. A couple of potential jurors excluded from the jury pool because of posts in the tensing trial. I would say the internet is written in pen, not pencil. New this morning, 9 on your side's Palos Hero has a warning for students, kids, and parents about what, it, uh, about what happens when you post things online. From Facebook to Snapchat, you see junior Monica Longnecker uses all kinds of social media. When you're going through a tough time and you just want to rant and all you have is social media. She's conscious when posting, knowing her info could be seen by potential employers. My co-op advisor has told me like we don't hire them because of what they post. If it's partying or just inappropriate posting. Now, according to CareerBuilder.com, 60% of employers use social media to look up candidates and 49% have found information online that caused them to not hire someone. If you have to think twice about posting something, that's your internal voice telling you don't. Dr. Jeffrey Blevins, who's the head of the journalism department at UC, says it's never too soon to keep a close eye on what your child posts online. Things that they do innocently, you know, in their youth, uh, can follow them forever. Colleges also now using Facebook and Twitter as a resource. According to Kaplan, 35% of admissions officers in the U.S. are using these resources when looking up applicants. So Dr. Blevins recommends talk about it with your kids. And any time that you know that you see something you know in the news where it's involved, you know, sexting, no matter what it is, those are really great learning uh, opportunities. Paula Soro 9 on your side.